guys how you doing how you feeling welcome to this week's episode podcast i think it's a podcast now at this point of a uh, search and report i'm your host true Fernie. um today i have no guest um art my friend rocket wasn't available to do the the episode this week so i'm just gonna do a solo dolo um but there are a lot of things to talk about in this week's episode today marks a special special day in history today's been one week since i've been trying to buy a damn ps5 the stock issues going around uh, surrounding this this console have been incredibly incredibly frustrating um both as a consumer and just as a no you know as an onlooker like it, it's taken so much time out of my week staying up you know trying to t- trying to cop at least some of the uh, online uh releases for the ps5 um you know amazon's been doing a couple of i mean amazon hasn't even actually released any consoles to my knowledge gamestop has been doing bundles sam's club walmart like target best buy i've been unsuccessful on all of them um these past two days there's been actually some uh some walk-ins some walmart walk-ins you know some some instances of people going into the stores and actually being able to buy consoles right out of the right out of the uh from the retail store i've been unsuccessful at least in my in my area very very unsuccessful um but i will go back into why that is into this in this episode um i'm not the only one this is something that's been going on across the nation um also in the uk there's been some some stock issues happening currently um with with the scalpers you know just snagging up a bunch of different um uh just snagging up ps5s left and right and reselling them for exorbitant amounts of money it's 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 incredible it's it's frustrating it's annoying but it's out of our hands as 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 gamers and and consumers you know we can't just do not buy from scalpers is all i'm gonna say um but i i will say i will preface this by saying that this episode is going to be fully on um next gen console related not a lot going on um in regards to nintendo switch besides obviously we've got some sales numbers uh for age of calamity which actually put it into uh, actually classified it now as the most uh, this is the best selling warriors game ever in history uh age of calamity has become the most the best selling warriors game to ever come out and I mean, you can definitely just say that it's because it's it's tied to the Zelda franchise. It's it's it, I've been playing it for like the past what it's already been nine days, so over a little bit over a week and a half. Um, and I gotta say, man, it, it, I will keep singing its praises. Of course, it has some issues. It has some frame rate issues. It also has some some um, uh, some graphics issues. That, I mean, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't. Um, but it's a warriors game it's on the switch it's a portable system and for what it does to both the story and the gameplay it's it's out of this world like the animations the battle animations are top notch i will be doing a full-on review about this this game later on but um I'm, i think i'm a little over halfway through the game and i gotta say like the battle animations the art style even the graphics like to a certain point the the, the art style helped help the graphics so much but it is still a very decent looking game and of course it's zelda you know if you're if you're a zelda fan you're gonna enjoy this game you will undoubtedly enjoy this game um but yeah uh record numbers for for a warriors game uh this this past week uh with uh age of calamity it's it'll be interesting to see where the warriors the horrible warriors franchise goes from here because there's been um confirmation at least from from uh, nintendo that they do not see any uh, at least not a solid future with warriors games as far for as far as for the uh, zelda franchise um does that mean that they're going to completely stop doing warriors games for the zelda franchise i don't know does that mean that they're just going to stick to now being adventure games you know the zelda games just being a uh, puzzle adventure action adventure games 
we don't know but there's been there's been confirmation from nintendo that they don't really see warriors game as something that can stand on its own so we'll see we'll see where where uh, uh the zelda producers take this they take this idea too but it's 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 a great game if you haven't gotten it go and get it right now in retail i think it's around 40 dollars um i should have waited to be honest i, I got it for 60 dollars um but right now i think on amazon because of black friday and cyber monday i think it is 50 dollars i'm i'm pretty sure it's 50 right now so it, it it's definitely a game you should want to play and you should buy um but for our first news item for why did i really lay down on that f <laughs> for our first news item of the week we have some new findings in, in regards to uh, playstation 5's heat issues or heat problems i should say um gamer nexus here um did a uh, a couple of tests with the ps5 with the stock uh ps5 uh, the disc version and they came up with some very interesting findings um here gamer rant reports let me bring this up real quick i'm trying something new so there we go uh here gamer rant reports test results come from gamer nexus the outlet opened up a retail ps5 and tested thermals power and noise power power and noise both returned good results but some thermal measurements were worrying specifically a thermal measurement on one of the ps5's memory units was, was way above expectations it was so high that gamer nexus felt comfortable saying that there was a potential for short-term memory abnormalities and artifacting behavior as well as long-term downsides Gamer Nexus tested two different memory units in the PS5. The first came in about 65 to 70 degrees Celsius compared to a 22 to 24 degree ambient uh, temperature. The second memory unit was significantly higher, measured between 90 to 95 uh, degrees Celsius. This is a little bit worrying, um, mainly because it, it, it worries me as far as like the longevity of, of a next gen gaming console is it going to be able if you were to buy a ps5 base console currently you know the the stock just the stock versions that they're currently out are they going to be breaking down in let's say two to three years because heat issues like result in a in a variety of of other hardware mal malfunctions like i it should be very evident that if you have a hot system you're gonna have issues in, in graphics you're gonna have issues in in performance you're gonna have issues in 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 uh um a power consumption like it's just it's it's basically the root of a lot of uh, problems inside of gaming systems and even pcs so it it's really interesting to see if it i mean it'll be interesting to see if this is a an, an oversight from sony um, because 90 there were there were certain certain parts of the of the system that that you know that that marked 85 to 95 degrees fahrenheit ambient temperature uh sorry um that marked between 90 to 95 degrees celsius specifically the second memory unit that is an extremely hot piece of hardware that is extremely hot and it, 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 it if the it for example on this test the, the the ambient temperature was was 22 to 24 degree that's that's pretty uh, a pretty well like a very mild temp uh a really mild temperature i can't speak right now a very mild temperature so to speak people are going to be having these these consoles and these gaming systems inside of tv cabinets they're going to have them in the corner next to their tv they're going to have them between their tv and the walls there's already not a lot of good ventilation there so i'm sure people are going to start having issues with heat um with with uh, systems overheating and i mean way sooner than we expect it's it, it'll be it'll be interesting to see first if there's going to be a revision from sony because it seems to be that um from from the, some of the tests that game uh, gamer nexus did the system runs a little bit cooler like i mean not even a little bit cooler like substantially cooler without both of its panels it, 
and the, you know for airflow you usually want to keep you know you know the, it, it, in pc terms you would want to keep your pc you know with its side panel on just for better airflow so not not just air is dissipating all across the the board all you know inside and outside but it's 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 weird to me to see that that the thermals improved after taking off the panels here gamer nexus shows us um the 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 bottom memory um it has uh it has a comparison chart of both uh you know just stock which is with both panels and the uh, red which is no right panels and without no panels you can already see it's it's a very substantial what three five degree almost a five degree difference in in uh in um in temperature here at least for the memory um and and all across the board like even not having no panels even it, it, is is proving to be a a a way cooler system now this the the way that the ps5 is designed it's a very sleek model it's very very compact um you know i don't want to call it narrow because i've never i've never seen one in person um but it seems like it's obviously slimmer than what a pc would be so you would probably imagine that there's you know airflow is kind of already taken into account for so probably taking off the panels it, i mean I can see how it can help airflow, um, but it's it's a little bit worrying to see it, just the the issues already rising um, in due to uh, to airflow um, uh, with the PS5. It, it's something that I would not expect Sony to overlook. I mean, I'm sure they did their rigorous testing um, throughout throughout the inception of this thing, um, but it still hopefully doesn't. <laughs> end up being a huge issue that they end up having to you know do some some revisions to the to the system because that's going to be a whole range of issues coming up for any early adopters um such as myself i mean i i i i've made videos about saying that you should wait to get these next gen consoles but um if i do want to keep on making you know content for for this channel i do want to invest it in a console um, and also because i just like i like sony i like i like the playstation but yeah it'll be interesting to see what other um what other findings people i mean uh anecdotal experience people have with their ps5 systems especially with all the dust that i'm sure people are gonna all, pe all their people systems are gonna end up collecting um hopefully there's nothing too serious hopefully you know the system is designed with that in mind with having very very hot uh, temperatures inside the system but i i really recommend you go and see at uh, gamers nexus video um titled weaker well, weak cooler design playstation 5 thermals power and noise testing um aside from that you know noise testing great it came out you know it's apparently it's a, it's a, qu a decently quiet enough system so at least there's no no issues there but ooh, ooh, it'll be interesting to see what there is uh how how the uh how the xbox series x uh fares in 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 comparison to the ps5 these systems man these systems that are new that are coming out they just well, no, I'm a little bit worried about their performance. I, I, I really hope it doesn't become an issue going forward. Um, but moving on to our second news item of the week. I wanted to address this is more of like it's a combination of both news and um, opinion. Uh, let's talk about addressing the console wars. Console wars, even in 2020, they're still a thing, even though a lot <laughs> a lot of next gen consoles which i'm only talking about obviously the two obvious ones ps5 and xbox series x they're pretty similar in performance they they're, they pretty much produce eh, i mean there's obviously certain games that are better optimized for the xbox series x and compared to the playstation 5 but across the board they're both very powerful systems and they're both capable of reproducing 4k graphics 60 fps up to 120 fps sometimes in 1080p it's it's whatever system you get you're going to be getting a next gen experience you're going to be getting high fidelity graphics you're going to be getting 4k gaming 
um not unless you don't have a 4k tv obviously but the only difference that i see in these consoles is obviously exclusive titles um across the board but there has been some some a lot of issues and a lot of hate has been directed towards channels such as digital foundry who i always recommend if you're into the technical stuff of console gaming if you're into the technical stuff of being um uh uh, just how how games perform in different consoles it's just a very information informational channel it's it's, a, it's it pro provides great value it provides amazing information they are very smart people out there they do they do completely unbiased reporting on how these next gen consoles perform you know based on different titles so i always recommend that you go and watch digital foundry if you have any any doubts of how the next gen consoles are um performing with uh with with the um, at least cross platform titles such as watchdogs such as assassin's creed valhalla such as call of duty and all of these types of games but there has been a common denominator behind these uh console wars and it has been performance performance for these uh cross cross platform games um uh, I'm gonna bring this up real quick here the verge it did a fairly i mean i don't want to call it a fairly detailed report or article because it wasn't but there is more and more instances of the ps5 outperforming completely um the xbox series x there's been instances of the of the ps5 just completely outperforming the the what is essentially the the more powerful system which is the xbox series x there's been of course uh here the 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 verge reports um digital foundry has been analyzing a number of new games across both the ps5 and xbox series x and the results are surprising with the xbox series x capable of 12 teraflops of gpu performance versus 10.28 ter teraflops on the ps5 most onlookers expected there to be a small gap between the consoles microsoft's next gen xbox also has higher levels of memory bandwidth and more compute units but sony offers developers less compute units running at a viral uh, at a vari vir vir variety variety variable variable i can't say variable <laughs> and a higher clock rate to extract better performance out of the ps5 while the xbox series x takes a slight lead in 4k ray, tra ray tracing performance modes on devil may cry for example is just one of the games that they they they've compared with the ps5 the high frame rate mode runs noticeably better on ps5 with frame rate gaps between the two systems at more than 40 fps in some scenes one game that makes this extremely noticeable is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, there was a lot of confusion as to why, first of all, why Assassin's Creed was running so bad. There was this, there was instances of like extreme screen tearing. There was just very, very bad graphics going on with the Xbox Series X uh, version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla but it was more surprising to see this given that uh, microsoft had a marketing deal specifically with assassin's creed valhalla uh, for assassin's creed valhalla here the the uh here the verts further reports digital foundry found that the xbox series x of version valhalla includes a lot of screen tearing like i said and regular regular dips below 60 fps the ps5 version appears to run a lot more smoothly variable refresh rates do make up for this screen tearing on the xbox series x but you need a modern tv to support that um there's obviously been ever since then there's been a, a a a patch to assassin's creed now it runs a lot better um but a lot of these issues with performance people are reporting that ha this has to do more with accessibility to dev kits um microsoft didn't give developers dev kits um not until june of this year for the xbox Seri series x so a lot of these performance issues have to do more with time constraints than anything. Um, objectively, the Xbox Series X is still the more powerful system by, I mean, not by a lot, but it's still, you know, a sizable difference. Um, but if, if, if you do remember, I think it was like over 
a little over a year ago that we started to see pictures of um of uh dev kits for the ps5 we had this this very weird looking systems that uh, they looked like something that you would believe back in the day we like oh the ps3 and you know they they showed like the boomerang <laughs> the boomerang ps uh, ps3 controller um I, I think that was a that was actually a dev kit if i'm not mistaken but either way i like to call them uh playground rumors um the dev kits for the ps5 looked like playground rumors uh, if i remember correctly developers have had a lot more time to develop games for the ps5 in comparison to the xbox series x so a lot of this 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 console war and a lot of the hate that goes to digital foundry for only reporting what they find like this is objectively this is objective news what digital foundry reports they they run the tests they show you how they perform objectively i don't think they're they're sabotaging one console over the other just to make one look bad why would they do that i mean there's no reason for for them to do that um but a lot of the issues stemming from this are fueled because of uh, time constraints for the developers a lot of developers only had what what is it like july august september october they only have like four months to optimize their games for the xbox series x and as we've seen you know with with assassin's creed valhalla um the update you know it made everything look a little bit better um but th that's 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 the the root of the cost that's that's the issue behind all of these complaints currently um uh here for there's a let's talk a little bit more about this because this was whew, this was something that, i mean th this was something that would really be, I'll, I'll put up a, a an image of, of what the issues were with uh with dirt 5 but um the xbox series x here the verge for the reports um, the Xbox Series X also falls behind the PS5 in both image quality and resolution in Dirt 5. The PS5 version and image quality mode gets better texture filtering and the average resolution is a little higher too. Over in the performance mode, which, tar which targets 120 FPS, the detail level on PS5 is, har is far higher than the Xbox Series X. Um, the developers did acknowledge that the gap will be was fixed, it will be fixed in an upcoming patch. Um, but this this just ignited it's like a whole Twitter war on 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 well, on Twitter though a little bit redundant there. Um, um, one of the uh, digital foundry writers um, uh, or hosts I should say ha got a, to basically a little bit of a a, a shouting match between him and a, and another um, YouTuber and it became it, it got a little bit nasty um you know there were instances of, of uh, misinformation there were instances of um this other youtuber using the ps4 version instead of the ps5 version which is a whole other issue with the ui but ui and ux I, because it's still experience as well of having a ps5 like you would think that if you were to buy a game for the ps5 you wouldn't have to go into the settings before starting the game and specifying that you want to play the ps5 version I'm feeling that there's going to be a lot of issues with that coming coming um, into the future with uh, PS5 games, but people just be they're consoles. They're they're just consoles. They're entertainment systems. They 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 equally are powerful. They both produce high fidelity quality images. They produce amazing looking video games. They produce amazing looking. Uh, they create amazing experiences like why are you so passionate about a certain brand like they both serve the same purpose they're both meant for entertainment why would you be upset about you i mean i'm sure people are just they get upset because they're trying to i, I think they're trying to like um um I don't know they, they want to reaffirm themselves that they made the right decision by either purchasing a, a ps5 or purchasing an xbox series x at the end of the day it doesn't really matter they both reproduce seemingly the same type of quality um obviously the games that are being ported over to both uh 
systems that they'll both have hopefully in time patches that'll make them look way better um obviously the xbox series x is i mean if it if there's a game optimized for both and they both have the same time frame to optimize the games i mean developers have the same time frame to optimize both games to optimize both versions of the game damn bro um the xbox series x is is gonna be on top of the line and and i say this as a sony fan i say objectively the xbox series x will perform better if it has the same amount of care given to given to it uh from the developers like that's that's fact that's just that's just it's it's truth it's it's in the bible i checked so please people do not do not do not engage in these these very weirdo tactics of like getting into arguments because of of just a brand name it's just a console it'll be okay this thing can barely produce 720p graphics it can barely produce the 720p 60 fps at times and it is still my most used console okay relax please just Let's take it let's take it one day at a time please there's other there's bigger issues in the world to be worrying about so please stop harassing people because of them reporting objective news all right <laughs> sorry about that I don't, I don't like to give my opinion on these videos or these podcasts a lot i mean it's a podcast now so i think people are going to start coming here because they want to hear my thoughts on certain things but um i obviously always would like to keep an objective view at these sort of things but yo y'all gotta relax man y'all gotta relax it's just a console they both perform pretty pretty much the same um for our third and i would say i mean this is gonna be a little bit improvised because there wasn't a lot going on um this week as far as gaming news um but one of the bigger news and something that's actually affected me now personally i'm so affected woe is me i can't find a console i can't find a ps5 <laughs> what will i do with my life i'm just playing i really don't care <laughs> um there's been a lot of stock issues ever since the release of the ps5 and the xbox series x um most notably i can say from um personal experience the ps5 has been one of the worst console releases i have ever seen in my life first of all we're in a pandemic i mean that's we already know that there's going to be delays in shipping there's going to be delays in production there's going to be delays in in um um just delivering these these next gen consoles um but you would expect that someone as big as sony someone as big as microsoft Hell, someone as big as nvidia because they've also had their issues with uh stocking their their next um next gen next gen I'm, i play too much consoles man um with with, with uh delivering or, or uh distrib distributing their their uh, newly produced uh video cards you would expect them to have systems in place to counteract the issues that are that arose or have arisen <laughs> since march but there's there's been a whole there's been a plethora of issues that that just made this this problem of this scarcity a lot worse as we all know the sony at least sony playstation 5 their release was mostly the only digital um meaning that you could only purchase the sony ps5 online so you had to be competing if you weren't into the resell if you weren't trying to resell these consoles you had to compete with scalpers you had to compete with bots um it, it, i mean th there was a whole there, there a whole and even you had to even to even compete with people all across the world because buying stuff online is not the same as buying things um in store because when you're buying in store you can only be one store at a time right you can only be in one line at a time in comparison to online you're in line with the whole country or you're in line with you never know there's probably people who have connected i don't know across the sea like overseas so it's it's a it's a it's a it's a combination of issues 
um now sony has said that there's been that they've completely sold out from at least i think there was their first batch of production um of uh supplies that they've completely run out you know from from distributing this to retailers to uh doing online sales they've completely run out that they but it's gotten to the point where like you can't find anything online unless it's StockX or eBay. And if you go on eBay right now and you see the, the prices on these uh, PlayStation consoles, like it's 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 ridiculous. I'm, I'm straight up going to say it. It is it is straight on disrespectful how expensive this these things are. Um, let me bring it up right here. I have it right, right up right here on eBay. Um, this is just the digital version. Well, no, I searched for the digital version, but this is obviously a lot of disc versions. But, you know, you got instances of $2,000. Um, I think the cheapest you can find around here is $1,000. Oh, uh, look, no, 940. New sealed PlayStation 5 console disc version. Ships ASAP. That's why it's, it's, it's $900 instead of, you know, just $500. Just retail price. But you see in a lot of these pictures, like you see people with five, six, seven, ten systems, and it's become apparent ten thousand, bro. Ten the, the this bundle is ten thousand dollars. See what I mean? This is just straight. This is plain disrespectful, man. This is just uh, not something that you should be participating in. I even feel dirty showing it on screen right now, man. But. The combination of that it, it's it's become apparent that these the retailers aren't able to uh distribute these in in a safe manner they're not able to distribute them in a fair manner um best buy did do this um only by store pickup which kind of alleviated a lot of the issues as far as bots as far as scalpers goes um because people had to actually show up to the store to pick up their system um you know so and there's usually some limits, you know, of only buying one per per household. Um, but it's become it's become very stressful to even find a system out there. It's 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 been amplified by the pandemic. It's been amplified by by uh, just shipping issues, by retailers overselling their stock. Um, I am a victim. Of being oversold a, con a, con a console um i remember buying i bought a a console from kohl's first of all kohl's who knew kohl's sales uh systems but i did uh, purchase one what i thought i had already purchased one i purchased one and two to three days later they started canceling like mass canceling orders and it was apparent that they oversold they didn't have as many consoles as they said um, and they, there was even an issue there with, with people, um, just literally uh, people bought two or three consoles from Kohl's and with every purchase of a PS5 console, you would get $180 worth of store credit. So people who bought three consoles, they got three times $180. How much is that? Or 80, 420, $420, I think. Yeah. So there, there was instances of people. I mean, Kohl's had to honor a lot of these, uh, a lot of these uh, store store credits uh, because obviously they oversold. The, the issue was with them, is not with the consumer. So I hope, I hope Kohl's stays afloat after this because that was a complete, complete, um, um, just just a mistake. That that was that was incredibly, incredibly. Um, just dumb they they oversaw this they, it was a complete complete disaster um but i was able to get at least some some christmas presents from kohl's so shout out to kohl's thank you you still made me lose my time but whatever um um there's necessarily not a clear reason as to why sony microsoft nvidia have had these issues with distributing um their 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 technology i mean i already said that there, it might be a, a a combination of all these issues but like it's become apparent that they were probably not prepared or they're at least they they kind of fabricated this 
this supply and demand issue so to kind of like create a conversation i mean that's that's a theory right now it's, it's based on nothing <laughs> it's just coming out of my mouth right now but um it seems that they 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 just they probably didn't just anticipate just people being so determined and so um passionate about buying these things um it, it's just it's too much it's too much is 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 it's become a, a problem it's become a problem that that i i hope that the i hope that sony microsoft nvidia address i mean at the end of the day they do not necessarily have to care because they already sold the stock they got inventory out of their hands but it's it's going to become an issue when when all you have is people reselling these consoles like you end up not getting the store warranty you don't end up not getting the manufacturer's warranty because you can't be guaranteed that the person who's reselling the console hasn't already voided that warranty it, it's it's going to become a pr disaster which it already is it already is for sony and microsoft it's it's become a pr disaster for walmart um i can speak from personal experience that there's been instances of, of uh walmart's across the nation only saying that they can only take online orders um but there's also been instances a lot of instances of people just walking into walmart's and buying ps5s off the shelves um or even off the inventory in the back and there's there hasn't been any clear communication as to why this is hasn't been any clear communication if there's going to be any um anything being put in place to solve these issues there's going to be any bot protection bot there's going to be any bot protection if there's going to be any assurance that that people are going to get their 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 consoles um in time for the holidays it's it's a mess bro it's a mess it, it is a complete and utter mess um you also have to take into consideration that a lot of this technology a lot of these these part the parts inside the the gaming systems are fabricated in china so i'm imagining getting stuff out of out of the country is is a headache on its own so it, it'll be it'll be it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward with this with this issue of of uh stock um i've given up i've given up with with trying to go into stores it's it's i'm not the type of person who will go into a store and like ask for the manager just because i did ask for the manager today and it didn't feel right it didn't feel good but it's still it, we shouldn't have to go through these lengths we shouldn't have to go to these lengths to just buy a console just get something that we have the money for it shouldn't not be this difficult to just be able to enjoy gaming which is a, a favorite pastime it's a favorite hobby for millions and millions of people it brings a lot of happiness to people it, it it's a de-stressor it's it's it, it's an escape and like just it's it's hard it's it's hard for people to like get their hands on something that should be readily readily available something that's mass produced first of all it's not like these consoles are going to be rare like they're being produced and this they're going to be keep they're going to keep being produced for this for the next five to seven years so hopefully sony microsoft nvidia even though i'm not in the market for a video card but still i hope they address these issues i hope they, there's more um bot protection uh, from retailers um mainly because it's it, resellers are running a scam it is a scam i don't care how you paint it to me it's a scam you're buying something and reselling it for a higher price it doesn't matter that there's a demand you're still scamming people out of their money because the value of that console stays at five hundred dollars four hundred dollars scarcity i do not believe should be an indicator of value and I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope, I hope companies, video game companies do not embrace this, this culture of scarcity because it's gonna, it's, it does a lot more harm than it does good in the long run. It, it it's, it's a PR, uh, it, it taints your, your company's reputation. It, it, it's 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 just not worth it like it's not worth it in my opinion it's just not worth it but i mean we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens 
um ladies and gentlemen i've been true fernie this has been a shorter than intended podcast episode i obviously that's why i bring on i want to start bringing on guests um people who are in the industry people who uh have a vested interest in gaming um people who can add to the conversation as you can tell like i try my best to do it on my own but a podcast is a conversation a podcast is meant to be a, like a conversation like it can't be a one-way street so um hopefully i'll be able to bring start bringing in more guests to make this a little bit more interesting um hopefully we got more we get more news next week um but everything that i've talked to about everything that i talked about in this podcast is going to be linked down below um as well to that links to my socials are down below and please please if you enjoy this video if you enjoyed this podcast please make sure to like and subscribe on youtube um i am now officially on spotify as well this podcast is on spotify just search uh search and report and you'll be able to find it um hopefully there's there's i try my best to name these things uh as 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 easily as possible for you to find it so uh please make sure to subscribe or follow the podcast on spotify and make sure to listen on there and yeah please also make sure to follow me on twitch as you all know youtube isn't the best way to like get some sort of compensation because these things do take time and do take money i enjoy doing them i obviously enjoy doing them i will continue doing them for as long as i can regardless of payment regardless of, of reward my reward is that people listen to this my reward is that people create conversations around this my reward is to interact with people and my reward is to just continue pushing gaming into like a, a better future and not into scarcity we don't want scarcity we don't want scalpers up in this bitch we don't want none of that bullshit that people in other industries such as the sneaker industry have to deal with but that's that's enough reward for me but i do appreciate if y'all go and follow me on twitch i stream mondays wednesdays and sometimes sundays um if time uh, permits um where i'm currently streaming age of calamity it's a great game as i said go ahead and buy it it's on sale right now it's it's 50 dollars online it's i believe 40 dollars on on uh, at walmart and and other retail stores it's a great game you're a zelda fan you're gonna love it you're gonna love it do not listen to what people are saying online it's a great game it advances the story of legend of zelda it's beautiful that's all i'm gonna say and you got my girl urbosa there so shout out to them um and with that folks please why did i do that why did i grab my boobies folks <laughs> please take care of each other but most importantly take care of yourself peace <laughs>